This video is sponsored by AppMaker. AppMaker is a Shopify app that converts e-commerce website to mobile app. The mobile app builder helps you create native Android and iOS mobile application. Get an opportunity to grab 15% off by being the first 200 signups. Get the link in the description. Hello, welcome to Educate E-Commerce, your one-stop destination for Shopify tutorials and e-commerce solutions. So today in this video, I'll be taking you through product filters and how you can add advanced search results on your Shopify store. So as you can see, this is what a basic uh, theme of a Shopify is going to look like. So here you'll be able to see that there is only option for a filter and a sort by option. So there is no other option where the customers can sort its collection page or a search results page based on the filters they need to apply based on brands, vendor type, size, price point, anything like that. So uh, this, uh, this is about the product filters. And even if you go to the search session, search results, if I'm just going to search a uh, dress, it will uh, list down products uh, according to the theme. And if I just search it again, I, uh, there is like a limited option on the search, how the search uh, page is going to look like or how the options of the search is going to look like and where the uh, sorting or the filters, you need to apply those filters for that so that the customers recognize what is the product they're going to uh, look for. So we're going to streamline this process using an app. So I'll be adding an app and in that you will be able to add product filters and advanced search results for your Shopify store. Get into the video, don't forget to subscribe as we come up with videos on e-commerce and Shopify every now and then. So we're going to go to our home uh, dashboard and here let's go to the sales channel and add an app. Here we have the option to visit the app store. So we're going to search for product filters here. Let's search for product filter. You can just go to the link in my description and you can directly get into the uh, page. So here, this is the app that we're going to use by the Boost Commerce product filters and search. I'm just going to click that and let's add this app to our store. You can just approve the install uh, by clicking on install app right here and the app will be added to your e-commerce store. So once you are in the dashboard of the product filters page, you can uh, select the layout how you want to sh uh, show your uh, uh, product filter so either it can be collection like this or it's uh, uh, in the vertical layout or you can choose the horizontal layout. let's go with the uh, vertical uh, layout as of now you can just select the layout and uh, it will take some time to fetch all the data inside your store all the products and all those things let's wait for that the setup is done and we're taking into the dashboard the main dashboard so here you will have a checklist to get started so first one is setting up a filter tree so all you have to do is click on to create now to create a filter tree. So filter trees are basically all of the filters that we are uh, going to see and all how you need to, uh, you can select and add those filters, how you can uh, measure those filters, all those things. So I'm just going to click on to uh, create new filter. And here we already have a default filter tree and also search filter tree. So this is already available. Now we're going to create a custom new filter tree. So you can, all you have to do is click on to add filter tree. Now I'll just add first filter and uh, you can choose which of the following, which of the following that you want to add all those, uh, all these things. So uh, I'm just going to add to the summer collection here. So I'm going to add this to all of the uh, summer collection pages. And also let me add, uh, I, I guess I'll add to every pages. So you can uh, customize it according to what pages that you need, uh, you need this to uh, view and all those things. So we're done with the collections that you want the filters to be appearing in and uh, not the living definitely and all these things are the fashion related all right so i'm going to add a filter option so here you need can select what are the type of things that you need to add so either it can be collection vendors denomination title and all those things so first i'm going to add size here so this is the size label and there are options of how you want to add like box or uh, swatch or how you want the uh, how you want the sizes to be displayed so I'll, I'll just add it as a box and a single select or multiple select you can also again choose that so this is done and i'm going to save it so we have added a size next uh, let's add color 
so you can add the color you can add the list of color box or swatches i'm going to choose swatch so you can select the swatch style as well how uh, what kind of swatch that you need so i'm going to give a uh, grid layer and all those things and i'm going to save it next uh, let me add a price range of the products here so there are different price range so here you will be able to preview all of the changes that you're going to do and it will be able to you will be able to visit, see that in the side and also choose the preview that where in the mobile how the layout is going to look like so uh, the price range you can add that what 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 is the range of your product price range and the sliders or delimiters delimiters are basically the number or the comma that's going to come after the each of the denomination you can either hide the value text box as well so here you can see the values are gone and uh, um, uh, let me choose that and shorten if you want to shorten any value like 100 uh, 1000 to 1k you can choose that and save it uh, let me add a few more filters and we will be up and running. So we have added few more things like uh, review ratings and materials and all those things. So you can also uh, adjust this according to the pro uh, according to the type or you can just drag it down. Uh, so you can adjust the size and also the type display type all of those will be also available right here. So I'm just going to save this. And your first filter will be uh, up and run. So uh, you can enable that by clicking on to here in the status section. Once the filter is done, you can go to the filter section and here you can choose the filter layout, how you want the vertical layout, the horizontal layout, the mobile layout, and you can choose all of the layouts that you want uh, on your website. So here you'll be able to see all of the uh, layouts and you can choose whichever that you want to go with. So I'm going to choose the default left one. So we are set with that. In the filter section, here we have the filter settings as well. You can go to the settings and here you will be able to see different option on you how you can you want to show the product count there are there'll be number of items that are in there in the particular color so you can uh, choose not to do that and also there are different other features as well here you can choose the text color font all those things for this thing for the preview and you will be able to see the preview right here and the button options also there so that's also cool so these are the filter settings now let's head back to the home setting and here we have you can enable the filter trees to your store. So let's go to the setup theme option right here. And the filter is not live since we have done uh, we have done the settings. So here either you can choose the live theme for the filter and search. So uh, also or you can uh, rem uh, you can set up a new theme. You can just click on to set up new thing and click a duplicate theme and select the theme that you have you are going to view. So I'm going to choose the debut thing. So that's a live filter, live uh, theme that's already in there. And where you can choose the column or on top or to the left. So I'm going to choose the left column and run the setup. So uh, you can click on to yes, run the setup and the, the and the filter will be up and running on your website. So once the setup is done, you can just click on to preview the filter here. So on the preview, you will be able to see all of the product filters in the right, uh, left side of the corner and here the size, the price, the range, everything will be mentioned right here. So this is what uh, it's going to look like. And if you select the filter, the product are going to filter and it's going to see here the refined by option is also right there. So you can also choose the sort by option by uh, price ascending, created ascending, all those things. Those are extra features as well. So this is what a product filter features are all about and if you go to the search results also here let's go to the search and search for something like pant and here this is what uh, the search results is going to look like so this is an advanced search results uh, option and you can also view the product and there also all of the products uh, the product filters will be also applied in this particular section. So we're going to go back to our store and uh, edit some search filters as well. Here you can go to the search. So here the instant search display is there. And here are some examples for the layout, how you want to add the uh, layouts to come like. So there is either a list of uh, uh, relatable items. There are product in the right row and the product in the thing. So you can make it a one column list where everything is will be available on this page and here you can also see there are some instant widgets like popular selections, collection, product, uh, blogs and pages. So you can enable and disable the, uh, that as well. 
so uh, since we have product on the right column we have disabled that it won't be applicable but when you're using uh, two column things where uh, all the products that you want all the items that you want you that will be uh, available right here also if you want to uh, you don't want uh, your suggestion to be out of stock products or the product vendors uh, you you don't want to display all those things you can also save that setting so these are some search settings here now we have the search page results here you can see search page is display so here you can choose the label so here when when the when the product is searched here you will be able to see that the products is there as a label right so similarly if you want to uh, re, uh, take it to another level and write something else you can always do that and there are also cu custom uh, relation uh, cust collection options so you if somebody search for any particular selection you can also choose the collection to be to be displayed so you can just uh, save that so uh, that's how it's going to look like i'm going to just refresh this page and search for something else ri right now so let's search for res and here it's uh, it's showing the popular selection the collection since we have enabled that and also the the products in the list it's also there so this is how you can add a product filters and also add a search results on your product uh, on your shopify store it's a very simple easy app and also there are some other features where you you can sync the whole uh, page and also see the analytics and know your customers on what uh, people are searching for or how many uh, uh, sales are generated by the search results or how many searches for a particular product you can also uh, choose that so this uh, this app is really great for the product search and filter options and uh, it will definitely uh, value your store and help your customers on finding their right product of their choice so i hope this video helped you and if you like this video give a big thumbs up and we'll see you in another video bye